Raymond Rivers was out on Treasury Lane in front of the Magistrates Court right and early on this Monday morning, flanked by President of Citizens Organized for Liberty Through Action, Giovanni Brackett, and various family and supporters after being detained by police over the weekend. He was there to respond to charges that he verbally threatened Belize City Councillor Philip Willoughby on Independence Eve, September 20th, at the official ceremony at Memorial Park. But just before 11, Rivers and attorney Karim Musa were informed that the matter would be put off to Wednesday, November 9th. Mr. Rivers was detained over the weekend, and while he was on lockdown at the Queen Street Police Station yesterday, the police gave him a charge sheet uh, for using threatening words against Mr. Philip Willoughby. When we went before the court just now, we were informed by the police, members of the police department, that the charge was not properly framed. Imagine that it has taken them two months to prepare a charge sheet for this man, and even now they can't get it right, so they're asking him to come back on Wednesday. They are clearly trying to target Mr. Rivers. So the uh, allegation was made or a police report was filed by Mr. Willoughby on the I, very same I have, day. I have no idea. I have no idea. Because I don't None recall us getting any police reports No, and if, and if you would recall, Mr. Rivers was detained or brought into a meeting with Mr. Chester Williams about a week and a half ago, was it? Nothing was told to him then about any charges. So what is this about today? When I spoke with the police officer in charge yesterday, he told me nothing about this charge, you know. He told me that he was detained for disorderly conduct. Nothing in relation to Philip Willoughby. Disorderly conduct what day? He was saying sometime over the weekend, that's why he was detained. But was he charged with that offence either? No, he was not charged with any offence. Musa was fully confident that his client was being targeted by the authorities solely for his speaking out and would be vindicated. He told us that while there is a statute of limitations on summary offences like this one, the cops could have moved much faster given Rivers' notoriety. Willoughby had spoken to News 5 on Thursday, November 2nd, giving his version of events. What did transpire, though, um, on the 20th September at the flag-raising ceremony, Mr. Rivers, being several um, yards away, made some comments to myself, to my person, in the presence of my friends, um, saying, like, you want dead, and this is the case of dead, that kind of thing, and poor people this and whatever. But I, I wondered why he would want to make such comments to myself. What I did do, though, I had my attorney write him a letter, which I shared with you. I also made a police report on the matter, and I, I leave that there. Rivers, not surprisingly, remembers the incident much differently and is not about to back down. Me and my two sons went to watch the fireworks, um, the fireworks at um, September the 20th. And when Mr. Barrow came, I hala, signed the anti corruption convention, right? And Mr. Barrow waved at me at the crowd and he went in. Now Mr. Willoughby did, did the same thing and I hala the same thing at him. And he pointed out at me and said, Watch where I catch you, you know? But I just hala signed the anti-corruption convention only that I hala the night. So you didn't say to him that, why you are dead? No, no. The process of untangling this controversy continues on Wednesday. Aaron Humes reporting for News 5.